What's up Gunplum Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Customs. Today I am going to build the 144 scale MS-06 Zaku the Ground War Set Universal Century 0079 One Year War Set. This uh, high grade kit came out during the MS Igloo 2 uh, OVA uh, CGI series that came out a couple of years ago. Um, they came out with a lot of other kits uh, as well, especially uh, a couple of master grades and the high, um, a few high grades. Um, but this one was pretty cool because it came came with just not only the Zaku that you're seeing there, but also the vehicles that that's displaying. This is actually a perfect set for uh, for all the components that's required to make a diorama scene like you see here. They've only created two. Uh, the Zaku set and then the Ground War Gundam set, which is the uh, ground version, the ground war, um, the ground version of the RX-78, and it came with the hover tank as well. Um, the reason why I'm building this kit, of course, is for my diorama build, which I'm getting underway and getting it ready for the New York Comic Con show. That's being held. That's going to be held in Wayne. Uh, Wayne, excuse me, at the New York Jacob Javits Center in New York City this October. So uh, the second kit that I'm building right now is this. Those of you probably remember this little guy right here, the uh, Type C, which is going to be um, one is the, the first kit that I made, and um, I'm going to get it painted. I just want to get this guy started first. I've been gone for uh, obviously for a couple of weeks due to my vacation and now I'm gonna get started on this guy there's a lot of things that I would love uh, that I am planning to work on with this kit um, first up I wanna get this thing out of the way even though this says this is MS-06 Zaku um, technically speaking it is the Zaku 2 um, I don't know why it doesn't say it there, but it does. It is a Zaku. Uh, Zaku 2 either way, because there was no such thing as a Zaku. But, um... It was the choice that I wanted to use, because, um... I, I could have gotten the other high-grade uh, Zaku kits. But I kind of liked it because it had a lot more features. As displayed here with the, wep with the amount of weaponry and uh, hands. And then, of course, the extra tanks that I'm going to use in the diorama build, the uh, Type 61.5. I really like this tank. Um, I've been eyeing the 135th scale version of this tank, which is worth a little over 100 bucks. Don't see myself like saving money to get it, but I always keep I'll keep my eye out and see if maybe if the price dips down less than 60 bucks or something like that I will definitely pick it up of course but there's a lot of stuff here that this kit comes with but I'm not going to utilize all of them I'll explain in a moment first up let's look at the contents of this kit and see what we have to work with this kit costs 2200 yen so in American dollars it's somewhere around uh, it's about 29 to 35 dollars, maybe a little more, considering this kit is a bit rare. Okay, here's the manual. We'll put this to the side. Tray A, which comes with uh, two colors, the black and then the green. The poly caps, of course. The next two trays are identical, and based on what I'm looking at here are the actual tank itself plus the manipulator hands and the shield guards one thing that I'm very very pleased it comes with water slide decals these are not stick-ons bravo for Bandai to include this at which point I'm I need I want to get the uh, water slide decals that's coming out I guess it came out now and or is not out the exclusive ones that is for both Federation and Xeon so I want to get those and get that ready for these kits. Uh, we got here the charcoal part for the weaponry. It's I guess some internal stuff here, but I could be wrong. And here's the armor, or the uh, remaining green parts, the light green parts. 
here is the sticker for the uh, mono eye, which I will not use, nor will I paint. I'll cover that in a moment. Here are some of the effect parts for the explosions, tank treads, the, the this little part here for the uh, of the scene where it fires the missile. Here's the uh, Wapa thingy. Some of the figures that we were talking about here. This also came with a cracker, which is kind of cool. And I'm glad that they gave out two pounds of Faust. That's going to be perfect. Perfect for what I uh, plan to do. So, let's put these things back into the case. I'll be soon removing these parts from its trees and sanding them down and getting them ready. All right, so let's look at the manual. So here's the Zaku, but I will refer to this as the Zaku 2. And then here's the picture of the Wapa. Very, very good detail at, at its scale, at 144 scale. Specifically also, this is actually one of my favorite vehicles, the, uh, ty the uh, Type 61 5 Plus. Um, very, very unique. I, I got something to show you guys with this tank, but I'll show it to you guys after I finish building it. And uh, it, it's kind of cool, but I, I won't show that now. Here's the tray with all the parts. And then the pages cover the building of the body. And the head. The body pretty much covers the waist unit. So there's no waist articulation, so for those of you who are wondering. Then we have the right arm, the left arm, then the legs, then the assembly of the weaponry, and the assembly of some smaller parts, and the WAPA thingy, and then the tank itself that goes all the way down to this page right here. That finishes up the tank. Here's some good detail on the hard graph, uh, UC hard graph kits, which are 132nd scale, 135th scale. Those are pretty nice. As you can see here, look at this picture. There's the 144 scale kit, and there's the 135th scale. That's a big kit. And then, of course, the placement of all the decals, followed by the ever so popular paint guide. This is going to be a lot of fun. However, there's going to be more to this than meets the eye. And let me explain. Like what I did with the Type C, I am going to modify the Zaku 2. And I want to change it up in a way which reflects some of the mobile suits uh, kits that Bandai has been releasing. Specifically, the mobile suit variation series of kits, like the Zaku Mariner the Zaku Sniper, uh, and stuff like that. Those are kits that were never in, never shown in the original series, but thankfully through um, the uh, Unicorn Animation series, we're starting to see those cool uh, vehicles that we really like to see now redone as master as high grades, and maybe master grades. The Juga is one other kit that we were all surprising, um, pl you know, pleased to see. Uh, it... It was a, a great. It's a great series. I, I can't wait to see episode five, which I haven't gotten my DVD, my Blu-ray copy yet. But for the Zaku two, I wanted to modify it just like I did with the Type C, and in my in my um, you know in my world of how I'm thinking of this, I'm going to change it up in ways that will look slightly weirder, or slightly. Um, evolving, more of an evolving mobile suit to fit the battlefield need. And the first play, I mean, obviously I'm going to be working on the arms, the legs, the body, but the head is the one thing that I really wanted to work on. Originally, I was going to gut out the inside of the um, place here where the, um, where it represents like you can't, you know, you can't see anything within the head, but you see the mono eye here, which is basically represented by a sticker. And I was going to gut that out and actually create my own mono, mono eye. I was actually going to custom make this. But then I came across this. Take a look at this picture. 
What you're looking at here is the T-55 Enigma uh, Iraqi tank. To me, I made a model kit uh, about this tank. It was released about a month or two ago. It's a 135th scale tank. And notice the turret. You'll notice that the turret has more armor than it had in its original design. For those military buffs out there, you guys all know that the, the turret of the T-55 is a little bit smaller in shape. If you look at the, I think uh, I'll, let me see if I can get another picture here. No, I can't get another picture. I thought I could. But that extra armor caught my attention. And I originally thought, you know what? That extra armor can be easily placed over the forehead of the Zaku tube. I did some preliminary shots, I was, you know, drawing it and see how it felt like. And as I continued looking at it, I completely disagreed on how it looked. I may decide to use it someplace else around the body, because it does have those other armored parts that I may have to do, more thicker parts. Because I am actually going to omit the, the shoulder, of oh, this shoulder. This shoulder will stay behind. This one will be removed. I will definitely take the two missile launcher systems and remove it from the legs. I still keep it, but I think it's stupid to have missile launchers on the legs and it's going to be cumbersome. My, my thought was to put the missile launchers on the side shoulders and put some sort of weird targeting system on top of the shoulder here, which I will custom make. This one will be replaced and I may redo it again with something different. I'm not too completely sure yet. It'll, it'll come to me. But going back to the head, I was originally thinking of using that feature, that armor, around uh, over the forehead. But it didn't come out right because as I was drawing it, I thought it would have been perfect if it was a Zaku sniper. But then again, if it, it wouldn't may, it'd be logical if, if someone actually was trying to take a direct hit at the front brow of a Zaku 2 head. No, didn't make sense. But as I was fooling around with the picturing, I th what came to mind was that Ecos mobile suit, the one with the um, with the uh, helmet type block thing that's in front of its face that is used for like extra like extra night vision or extra like sensory uh, features. I like that feature so much that I think I'm going to use that feature here. I'm going to custom build that type of sensory feature over the face, over the mono eye area of the Zaku 2, eliminating the mono eye itself. No reason to show it. Um, that is pretty much my idea. The color scheme I will definitely update and make it a little bit more unique for the pattern. I have some other colors that I just picked up. Um, one, uh, I will. I have the khaki drab which would be perfect with followed by either um, RML gray and then I have another color which is not within sight but that's something that I will work on and flesh out so there you go that's my idea that's my plan oh here it is olive green I was looking for this I was looking for the olive green one give it a little bit more green but changing up a bit. Anyway, that's my idea, that's my plan. During this course of this build, things will change and update. I may come up with new ideas and flesh it out as I go along. The weaponry will stay the same, but I will modify some things. So, with that being said, let us now prepare building high-grade Zaku 2 and the Type 61.5 tank.